Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for Read Aloud Time. Can you believe we are on the last chapter of Five Minute Stories from Lima Lima? I hope you've enjoyed these series with me as much as I've enjoyed sharing them with you. So our last chapter is entitled Lima Lima Happy Birthday. Lima Lima wakes up with a smile on his face. He hops right out of bed. Fuzzy, he says to his stuffed Lima, it's my birthday. I can't wait to play with all my friends. Downstairs, Mama Lima greets Lima Lima with a big hug and a delicious pancake cake. Happy birthday, Mama's precious Lima, she says. Sounds delicious, a happy birthday pancake cake. Then Mama hands Lima Lima a birthday present. This is for you, she says. Lima tears it open. A toy airplane? Wow, exclaims Lima. Lima, thank you, Mama. My friends are going to be so excited to play with my new plane. First, Lima Lima goes next door to Nellie News House. I got this new place for my birthday, he tells her. Want to play? I can't, says Nellie. I have to help my mama with my little brother. Sorry, Lima Lima. Lima Lima spots Luna Giraffe in her front yard. Do you want to play with my new airplane, Lima asks. I um can't, Luna says. I have chores to do. Lima goes to Euclid's house next, but he can't play either. Sorry, Lima Lima says Euclid, I have to count the blades of grass in the yard. Lima Lima is disappointed that his friends are busy on his birthday. Lucky, Mama Lima can play. They toss Lima's airplane back and forth. Then roosh, it zooms into Luna's backyard. Lima knocks on Luna's front door. Hi, Luna. My plane went into your backyard, Lima Lima explains. Can I go get it? No, says Luna, pulling the front door closed. I'll get it. Luna finds Lima Lima's plane. She slides it back to him through a crack in the door. Sorry, you can't play, says Lima Lima. Maybe Nellie's free now, he says to himself. As soon as Lima Lima's out of sight, Luna races to Nellie's house. Lima's friends are all there, and they're up to something secret. Lima Lima is coming, she tells them. Let's go. They hurry off as fast as they can. I wonder what they're up to. But all Lima Lima sees is his friends running away. He doesn't understand. I thought they were all so busy, he says sadly. Back at home, Lima Lima tells his mama and grandma Lima what happened. He looked like they were having fun. It looked like they were having fun, says Lima. I feel left out. I understand, honey, says Mama Lima. But things aren't always what they seem. Lima Lima frowns. He seemed like they were playing without me on my birthday, he says. Your friends would never leave you out on purpose, says Mama Lima. You're right, says Lima Lima. But what were they doing, he wonders. Meanwhile, Lama Lama's friends are back together in Nellie's yard. It turns out they are really busy, but they aren't playing without Lama Lama. They're planning a surprise party for him. I would go play with Lima Lima, but I have to blow up the bouncy house, says Euclid. As I'm not done decorating, says Luna. Gilroy Goat has an idea. They can play with their friend and plan his party. I'll go play with Lima Lima first, he says. When Gilroy finds Lima Lima, Lima Lima is surprised to see him. What are you doing here, asks Lima. I thought you were so busy, just like everyone else. I was busy, said Gilroy, but I can play now. Let's go to the park. 
Together, Lima Lima and Gilroy make up a new game. One, two, three, go, says Lima Lima. Lima Lima flies his plane while Gilroy kicks his ball. It's so much fun. Suddenly, Luna appears, but Gilroy's gone. Gilroy's mom needed him, says Luna. I, I can play now. Lima and Luna play for a little while. Then Ronald Rhino shows up. I have to go home, says Luna. See you soon. I'm finally getting to play with my friends on my birthday, says Lima Lima. Just not all at once, I guess. <laughs> soon, Nellie rolls up her skate, rolls up on her skateboard. Let's go to my house to play, she says. How about a fun ride home? Nellie and Roland push Lima Lima all the way to Nellie's house. I'm not sure what this new game is, Lima Lima says with a giggle, but I like it already. When they get to Nellie's house, Lima sees balloons and streamers and presents everywhere. Wow, says Lima Lima. It looks like you're getting ready for a super fun party. Lima Lima's friends and family jump out of their hiding spot. Surprise! They all shout. Lima can't believe it. This is my party, he asks. Nellie puts a party hat on Lima Lima's head. Now I know with everyone, now I know why everyone was so busy. Lima tells his friends, you were planning a surprise party for me. We would never leave you out, says Nellie, especially on your birthday. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you, says Mama Lima, but I didn't want to ruin a surprise. Lima Lima gives her a big hug. It's okay, he says. I love surprises. Lima Lima blows out the candle on his birthday cake and everyone cheers. Happy birthday, Lama Lama. The end. Well, thank you again for sharing these fabulous five-minute stories with me. Until next time. <laughs>